I'd like to show you a quick technique for creating a branch in Adobe Captivate. I'm going to select this button here called Play Lesson. On the Properties panel, on Success drop-down menu, I can choose from several actions. Continue, go to Previous, go to Next. My intention is to jump my learners from one slide to another, so I'll choose Jump to Slide. When I jump to a slide, I can jump my learners to any slide in my project. Notice that I'm currently jumping my learners to slide number three. If I preview the next five slides, and I'm going to press Function Key 10 on my keyboard to do that, if I click the Play Lesson button, my learners will go to slide number three. And that's great. Let me close the preview. If I create a branching scenario with multiple branches in a large project, jumping to a slide by its slide number is going to be a bit confusing for me because I have no indication what's on that slide when I'm jumping to it. As an alternative, I'm going to give my slides a name. So I'm going to go to my window menu. I'm going to bring up the film strip. I'm going to go to slide number three. On the properties panel, I'll name the slide Begin Lesson 1. The name that I've just given that slide shows up on the slide thumbnail on the film strip. I'm going to go back to the previous slide. I'm going to select that same button. This time, when I create the jump, notice that I'm jumping to the slide by its name, not its number. So now I have a better idea as a developer what's on that slide. This is the slide beginning lesson one. If I go to my slide drop down menu, You'll notice here that I've named several slides and I can jump to any of them by their names.